jumped in the bathroom themselves together and they said that was the scariest they've ever been. A race to save dozens of people after a tornado takes aim at a senior living center. And that is where we begin here at 6. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jolene Cheney. And I'm Kai Torque in for Kevin Ogle. It's hard to forget this particular image from Wednesday night. Living Center residents forced out into the parking lot after the center took a direct hit from the tornado. News 4's Dylan Brown is live tonight with how things are going. Dylan. Yeah, kind to on my left, you'll see uh, uh, remnants, barely anything left from a uh, daycare center out here. A lobby's the only thing standing. Fortunately, nobody was inside at the time. Unfortunately, though, next door to them, right next door to them, an assisted uh, uh, living care center right here. Over 30 residents were inside when this started coming down. Uh, theirs is a story of courage. It's a story of survival. And everything's fine. And then, boom, power's out. Boom, water's going everywhere. Boom, gas leak. Wind is blown in. And uh, I thought, Lord, lead me because I'm afraid right now. Shelly Stewart at Brookdale Assisted Living was there for it all. These two gentlemen that lived here and right there on the corner have skylights in their bedrooms now. Yeah. We have no beauty shop now. <laughs> we lost our beauty shop. She says 30 residents were inside when the tornado hit Wednesday. Your staff uh, got them into the bathrooms as much as and, and kept them in there. Yes, they jumped in the bathroom themselves together and they said that was the scariest they've ever been so we had three employees that lost cars and that's going to be very difficult for them the next day mason dunn of news 4 captures this it'd be a daycare or something just crazy the damage damage is just crazy a daycare gone right next door brookdale assisted living nearly destroyed very widespread damage this some rush to the Stillwater facility, some to Ada. Just sitting there minding my own business and I felt sick. Marie, one of them, left with nothing. Just outside my window was a daycare center and it's gone. You saw what it looked like with the roof ripped off? Yeah. Yeah, look, well, we we're all lucky. Lucky, though, to have staff to save their lives. They were heroes. Yeah, heroes indeed, and obviously I'm going to have viewers reaching out asking how they could help the residents or the assisted living care center in general. Shelly tells me uh, they're going to have to see what's missing, what's damaged, what could be destroyed before they could say what they need exactly. But just another story out of survival out of Shawnee. Dylan Brown, Oklahoma's News 4.